Hello tech people, today, we're diving into the exciting world of IoT, Internet of Things, using the Arduino Cloud and the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi. This step-by-step -step tutorial will teach you to control devices and also get sensor readings, so watch till the end. Alright, first things first, let's set up your Arduino Cloud account. Head over to cloud.arduino.cc. If you don't have an account, go ahead and create one and log in. It's free and super easy. Once you're in, this is your main page. Connect your Arduino to your computer. Next, click on this Create New button. Then select Add Device. We are using an Arduino R4 board, so select the Arduino board option. The easiest method to set up Arduino Cloud is using the Cloud Agent. So when you are prompted, Go ahead and click on Install. Download the Agent Installer and open it. Install it to your preferred location. It should automatically start running in the background. Once it is running, close this tab and go back to the setup. Your board should already be found. Click on Configure. The wizard will update the firmware on the board to work with the Cloud Agent. Once done, your device dashboard will look like this. Next, you need to create a thing. You can simply click on this button to create one, and you will see this page. It should be automatically linked to your device, and network configuration will be disabled at first. Let's first create a variable. Click on Add. Let's create a variable to control an LED bulb. It will only have on or off values, so select Boolean as type and click on Add Variable. Now the page will refresh and the Network Configuration button should be enabled. Click on Configure and enter your Wi-Fi name and password and save it. As you can see, the board is still offline. We need to upload the sketch for it to connect to our project your sketch would be auto-generated. Go to the Sketch tab. The necessary variables and the network configurations are included in the sketch. Let's upload the sketch. Now head back to the Setup page and your board should now be online. Next, let's create the user interface for our project. Open the menu and open the Dashboard section. Click Create a Dashboard. Change the mode from View to Edit using this button. Click on Add and then add a switch. Next, click Link Variable. Then select your device and select the LED variable that we created earlier and Link Variable. Now, go back to the sketch. You can get the name of the auto-generated variable here. Then, go to the setup function and set the pin mode to output. We're using pin 2 for the LED. Then at the bottom of the sketch, there is an auto-generated function. Inside the function, set the LED pin according to the state of the LED variable. I know this code can be simpler, but this will do for now. Upload the sketch. Once uploaded, connect an LED to the pin 2 and ground of the Arduino using a 1000 ohm resistor. Open the dashboard and you can turn the LED on or off from anywhere. Next, let's connect a servo motor to the project connect it to power and signal to pin 9. Next, let's add a variable to control the motor. The type will be integer. Open the sketch. 
Add the servo library. Declare the servo variable. Attach the servo to pin 9. Then, at the bottom of the sketch, there will be an auto-generated function for the position variable. Inside there, set the position of the motor to the value of the position variable. Upload the sketch. Open the dashboard and add a slider. Link it to the position variable. Change to view mode and now you can control the motor. We can also get sensor data using the cloud. Let's see how that's done. Let's remove the motor and add a DHT11 temperature sensor. Plug that into power and pin three of the Arduino. Add a variable for the sensor. It will be a float type and read only. Let's write the code. Include the library for the sensor. Define the sensor type and pin. Define the sensor variable and the variables required to maintain the timing delay. Inside the loop function, make a small block that executes once every one second. We need this delay as the DHT11 sensor is pretty slow. Inside that block, read the sensor data and assign it to the cloud variable. In the dashboard, add a gauge. Link it to the temperature variable. Delete the motor slider. Disable the code for the motor. Upload the code. Come back to the dashboard. The sensor will take some time, but it will start updating. It is currently showing the room temperature. Let's check it. There you go. As long as the board is connected to the internet, you can get his sensor data from anywhere in the world. The possibilities are endless. If you have any questions, ask in the comments. And, as usual, a like and subscribe would be amazing.